Hello fellow wand lovers. A new talus skill dropped. Unfortunately this video is a bit late because I did a pyrocynical and went to Sweden on a two-week vacation. I'm in Sweden right now. But now that I'm back let us talk about the new long-range advantage skill. So, Talus, for those who know, isn't in a great spot, and hasn't been ever since launch. Arguably the weapon wasn't even really playable until Kvari's patch, since that fixed their terrible PP economy. But Talus DPS has also been rather problematic for a while now. It's a weapon shared by Tector and Force and has been balanced with both of these classes' exclusive damage multipliers in mind, but the devs aren't doing a good job to be honest. On Force it's weaker than just casting techniques, and on Tector it's way weaker than the Wand. Talus's AoE DPS has been their biggest selling point, but even that seems to fall off lately, thanks to skills such as Wand Technique Skip Beat. Before that skill came out, I'd regularly use Talus during the first phase of Dark Falls Aegis. These days, a charged Gigrance into Skip Beat does the trick as well. Many players are justifiably frustrated with this weapon's performance. So, here comes this new skill. Also just to get this out of the way, there will be a lot of numbers in this video. I will put all the math and sources into the video description, in case you want to math check me. Long range advantage boosts your Talus PA and technique damage by 15% if you're fighting a boss enemy and they do not have aggro on you. That's this little marker up here if you ever wondered. And let me repeat this. This skill only works if the enemy does not have aggro on you. The skill was mistranslated when it first came out. 15% damage is actually really meaty. It elevates Talus Convergence techniques from 347 to 399 DPS. That is about on par with Wand Photon Arts, if we ignore Encore Jump of course. But even with that 15% buff, Talus is still frustratingly weaker than Wand. Wand, even if we ignore parry counters, still wins over Talus simply because Wand Element Revoke Pursuit exists. That is a 891 DPS nuke, and it seriously spikes our DPS average. Tricky Capacitor, which is the Talus equivalent, is only a 581 DPS nuke, and takes way longer to build up. Then there is stuff like Convergence Shot having to be used regularly in order to maintain PP and Talus formation, that's a 343 DPS attack. Same goes for Talus Weapon Action, it only has a measly DPS of 297, and that's if all shots hit the enemy. It's really disappointing to me the skill doesn't boost Talus more. 15% extra on Tricky Capacitor and Weapon Action would've been huge. I've got a feeling that the devs are telling us that ranged weapons shouldn't be used for solo content. Or rather, that they won't be balanced with solo content in mind. Obviously you will always have aggro in those solo scenarios, so you'll always bleed damage simply for not having any party members around. There is also the issue that aggro is a very wonky mechanic in this game. Enemies will sometimes switch aggro to you, not because you're dealing the most damage, but simply because they feel like it. Hunter players are also not being rewarded for using the Warcry ability, which should put them on the top of the aggro list for a short period of time. In PSO2 it used to give the hunter player a small damage buff, but that is gone in New Genesis, and I don't know why. At least now we know why Ranger got the Stealth Strike skill. It's just a pity that Ranger is the only class that has this skill available. This does make Ranger subclass very appealing for a Talus Tector, but at the same time you might feel forced into using this subclass, since the reduced aggro benefit is too big to ignore now. You might wonder, if Talus DPS is as bad as I described, wouldn't it be hard to get aggro on a Talus Tector anyway? If you play with equally skilled players that's probably very true, but in Pugs that's a different story. I very often held aggro on bosses while using a Talus and that was before this new skill came out, so you can probably guess how often it happens now. One thing I also want to mention is that this buff at least makes Talus techniques stronger on Tector than regular techniques. So theoretically, instead of technique spamming, it might be appealing to use Talus techniques instead. A practical example would be on Dark Falls Solus. At the beginning of the fight he does this decently long animation of preparing for battle, during which we have full control over our character and can start dealing damage to him. Using uncharged grants will give us 286 DPS for 4 techniques until grants glitter kicks in, at which point uncharged grants becomes 344 DPS. Meanwhile the Talus alternative has convergence shot dealing 327 DPS once, and then the converge techniques deal 380 DPS. 
To top it off, swapping back into Wand will refund half of the PP spent. So Talus clearly wins in this scenario. Unfortunately, Talus marking still takes too long to build up and hinders Talus's sidearm capabilities. At the very least, Talus stands more on its own now. If you're going to go the Ranger subclass route, I recommend investing in a rifle multi-weapon. This will give you access to Spread Shot. It is a 504 DPS attack, and thanks to Spread Shot Auto Charge, you don't even need to use the rifle for this attack to charge up. You can also use the rifle weapon action for additional damage. Depending on your distance and whether or not you're using the mine or grenade, it can be a 559 DPS nuke to add to your repertoire. These attacks also have the benefit of ending your Talus Bloom formation. So, if you want to use a technique after a compound technique, to pop all the elemental gimmicks, using Rifle is better than using the Talus Bloom Revoke skill. With this build you have to make sure you increase both ranged and tech potency. Another interesting thing to point out is that this skill does not boost counter damage. With this skill, you are actually encouraged to not farm counters too much, and instead focus on dealing as much damage with photon arts and techniques as possible. Of course, you still need to counter attacks. For example Dark Falls Solus has many attacks that target all players, regardless of aggro. But this is perhaps a sign that not every class has to fish for counters. I know some people aren't super happy about the counter meta, so this might help them enjoy the game more. And that's really all I have to say about this new skill. While it's nice that at least in multiplayer Talus damage has been brought up, a lot of fundamental issues with the weapon remain unaddressed, and judging by how reluctant the devs are in terms of buffing this weapon, it seems they might remain unaddressed for a while. Hope you liked this little breakdown though. I might do a video in which I discuss possible improvements that can be made to Talus, similarly to what Einhander is doing right now with Wand. But that will have to wait for now. Shout out to all my wonderful channel members for supporting this channel. I hope everyone has a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next one. Take care!